What's up? Coach Dan Blewett here. In today's video, I'm going to give you some college baseball recruiting tips, but most specifically, I'm going to tell you how to email a college baseball coach. So we're going to go over a template email that I've created, and you can download this. There will be a link in the description below. And the first uh, template we're going to go over is for a pitcher, and the second one is a sample for a shortstop. So you could copy this entire email, just the format of it, make it your own, and then send this to a college baseball coach. That'd be totally fine. I'm going to go over the different sections, all the information that you should include. And this isn't exactly what you'd want to send. You want to make it again, make it your own. So when you send this to different college baseball programs, it's going to impact them directly. And you're going to put your personal spin on it because these should not be boilerplate templates where they can tell this is a form letter. They can tell someone else wrote this for you. It should be in your own words. That's going to help you with your college recruiting process and get you into the baseball program that you want. Okay, let's jump in. So right here, obviously I've made up all the names in this thing. The first thing, obviously you're going to put your own name in here. I made up John Holstaff. I'm a six foot two right-handed pitcher. So this is just these first two lines are quick reference information on who you are. Obviously saying that you're in interested in this fake university of black cap. And then in these blue uh, lines here, I've kind of outlined what could be in the body of this email. And the big thing is keep it short, keep your email short. This is actually pretty short. This is two lines and a bunch of sentences or in a bunch of sections, but you could make this even shorter because college baseball coaches on, on the recruiting trail, they're very busy. They're going to read this email, but they're going to skim it. So be prepared for them to skim. And one thing before I, I talk about the four different uh, blue sections here is you'll see, I've broken this up into lines. When I send emails, if I want people to read it, I write almost line by line. The more space there is, the less people go blind when they see this big blob of text. You don't want to send a big blob of text. Just like I'm sure you don't want to read an article on the web. That's a big blob of text. Do not write this like a school essay separated into one or two line fragments. So that means one sentence or two sentences before the next paragraph break. So you'll see I've done that here. So this first one, it says persuasion. What this is, and this is something you probably won't see on another um, like email template if there's others out there. And there's a lot of good resources on the web for college baseball recruiting. But this is this is my idea for you to plant a seed in the coach's mind. I'm at 88 miles per hour today, and my coaches believe I have a lot more in the tank. That's something that a college coach might go back to his staff and say, this kid, he's at 88, but I think he's got a lot more in the tank and he can help our program. I want you to implant some notion of what they're going to say to their peers, the other coaching staff, about who you are and that you're projectable. My references will attest that I'm the kind of player you want in your program. So this, these two lines, I think, can be really important. You're implanting in this coach's mind that you throw hard today, but you're a good investment and you're the kind of player that they want in your program. They want to hear that over and over. This is the kind of player that they want on your program. Dan Blewett is the kind of player that I want in my program. Okay, so Persuasion, that's a book by Robert Cialdini. It's a really interesting book, and this is a little uh, snippet of that technique. Number two, baseball fit. So why do you want to go to the University of Black Cap? Why do you want to play at the University of Arkansas? Give them a reason. Like there should be a reason. You shouldn't just blanket the country for schools you don't necessarily want to go to. Tell them why you like their school. The next one, academic fit. They need to know that you're going to be happy there as a human being, not just on the baseball field. And you really should be happy at the school and the local area. So don't go play in deep state Washington if your family is in on the East Coast and you know you won't be happy super far away. If you love Washington State, then I'll be it. I mean, then great. Tell them that I love Washington state. I love being rained on constantly. I love really tall pine trees, <laughs> like what, whatever it is, tell them, put some personality, Ex but explain that you, you're an academic good fit for their school. So you, say, I, I want to be in the kinesiology, kinesiology program. I know you guys have a great political science program. I'm really interested in poli sci. I think that's what I would major in. So this is a really good academic fit. Also, I think your campus is just super cool. Like I love the look of your campus. I think the, the neighboring area is really cool. Th that stuff that's important to put in there. They want to know that you're going to be happy and stick it out at their school. Lastly, a quick line about baseball success. Just tell them like, Hey, I was a high school varsity pitcher. I had a lot of success. You know, I, I can compete at the D one level. I believe my coaches believe I can. You don't need to go into how good you are because they don't care. They're going to decide if you're good. Just tell them something that you're, you, you know, I think using the word compete and competitive is important. 
They want competitive, hardworking players. So I think if you're if you're implanting other words in this, hard work, competitive, stuff like that, those are good things to put in there. After that, we have this big section basically of your data. So this should be your GPA, your SAT, your height, your weight, um, you throw, the positions you play. And obviously this one's for a pitcher. We'll briefly go over the differences between a, a position player, but for a pitcher, just put your right-handed pitcher, left-handed pitcher. You could put starter, reliever, that's fine too. You can put the other positions in there just because it gives them a hint at your athleticism, which is good. If they know that you're the starting shortstop in addition to being a right-handed pitcher, that's a good indicator that you're a pretty good athlete, which they like. Um, put your velocity of all three pitches, whatever. Put your high school stats. I would just pick out a couple of relevant ones for me. If you're a pitcher, K's to walk ratio um, and, and how many innings for context. Your win loss record is whatever. Um, but again, like, so I put six, six and two with 72 strikeouts against 14 walks, which is a very good strikeout to walk ratio and 42 innings, which means you had a lot more strikeouts, uh, than innings. So that's important. But other than that, they're not going to have a, a, a context for your level of play. If you throw 85 miles per hour in a terrible baseball area, you might strike out the world. If you throw 85 miles per hour in the Los Angeles area, you're kind of an average player. So again, they're going to figure out how good you are. So don't waste time telling you, telling them how good you are. Just give them the facts, express interest in them, and that's going to be good enough. After that, you've got links to anything that's on the web that's going to be good looking and, and helpful to them, like professional videos or not professional videos, but just this is a good video that showcases how I pitch. Here's my mechanics. Here's how, my, how, how hard I throw. Here's my recruiting page. If I have one with any of those local services or those online services, all those things are really good recruiting tips to include. Um, put your high school, your hometown, your high school coach's uh, email and phone number. Make sure you ask them that you can provide that. Um, a second coach reference. So if you want to you have someone in your life who's not your high school coach or your summer coach, but you work with and they'd be a reference, someone like me, whatever, put them on there. Um, put your parents' email on there, your summer team and your summer team coach. So pretty much anyone that they can follow up with, they want to know where you're going to play, what, where you're from, your high school team, your summer team, all that stuff, put that in the email in this bulleted list so they can easily pick out the info that you want. And once you've made your own template like this, or if you want to use mine, you can just keep the, this, the headings and just change it, you know, what else, or, or this is just one you're going to copy and paste that you're going to use in every email, which is fine. The stuff above that's going to be individual to a specific school, again, write your email to the University of Arkansas different than you'd write to the University of Maryland, for example. Do not make it the same exact one. You should have a very specific reason that you want to go to University of Maryland versus the University of Arkansas. There should be reasons that you want to go to each, not just because they're both good at baseball. Um, after that, just quick, hey, thanks, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. I look forward to your response. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. They're again going to skim this, look for the info they want. If you jump out of them, that's going to be important. So, jumping back to the top real quick in that little persuasion section, I'm at 88 miles per hour today, and we're leading off with a physical stat because that's ooh, this kid throws 88. That's pretty good. Let me read more. So, throw something out there again to persuade them to think this is a kid that could be for our program, and also to give them a quick like, hey, I'm good. Here's something good that I can do. Okay. So let's go down to a baseball recruiting email for a position player. So I've highlighted some of the differences because there's not that many. I'm a six foot, I'm a six foot shortstop. My coaches say I have a very advanced glove and my tools, 6.7, 60 yard dash with 95 mile per hour exit speed, uh, will continue to improve in college. You're telling them that you're fast. I run a six, seven. I can hit the ball hard. I hit 95 off the tee. And my coaches believe I have a very advanced glove. That's a good thing for them to have in their brain. Oh, this player is a very advanced glove. It's vague and leaves to interpretation, but it's got the idea in their head that you have an advanced glove, whatever that means. All right. So then again, my references will attest that I'm the kind of player you want in your program. The word attest might, may or may not be a word that a high schooler uses. I have a reasonably advanced vocabulary. I, I write, I was a philosophy major. Make sure you write this in your own language. If I saw the word attest in an email from a high schooler, I'd be like, did his dad write this? Did his mom write this? High school kids don't use the word attest that much. So be sure to make this in your own language. It's okay if it's plain. Spell check the crap out of it. Make sure there's no typos. Make sure it's grammatically correct. 
but make sure it sounds like a, a smart, bright, but still 18 year old, 16 year old, 15 year old kid wrote it. Don't make it sound like mom and dad wrote it because they'll smell that out. So that word attest, I put that in there for a reason. That's kind of like, hmm, 17 year olds, 15 year olds don't know what that word is. Okay, so let's finish up. Let's go to just these last couple things. So um, down here below, you'll see uh, right-handed swing, left-handed swing. I've got positions, shortstop, third, right-handed pitcher. I think it's important to include that you're a pitcher if you pitched. It just, again, shows some like versatility and some athleticism and that you've got a good arm. Um, you got your 60 time, your exit velocity and exit velocity for a college baseball player. Isn't that important. It just, it's a measure of, can you hit the ball hard? It doesn't tell a college coach if you're a good hitter or not. It doesn't tell me anything about your approach. Um, doesn't tell me anything about your batting average. It just says I have some pop and that's fine. That's a good thing just to include, but just know that that's not going to like make you a division one baseball player. If you can hit the ball hundred off the tee. The fact that you can actually hit is what's going to make you a Division One baseball player or Division Two, II, Division Three, JUCO, whatever it is. Um, so again, like this is important. Make sure this is in your own words. Um, additionally, you can give them all this information directly through the college's website. In the video description below, I'll put a, a link to another video that I have, which is how to find a college coach's email. And it's easy to do. You go on the college uh, website. They won't always list it on the baseball page, like next to the coach's name, but there's another way to, to find it. And I'll show you that in that video. So again, the link will be in the description below. Um, so fill out those student athlete questionnaires because that goes right directly to that school. They look at them all. They're going to have all your information in their database, which is important, but also this is it. This is what you need to send out. So I've gotten questions recently, especially we've talked a lot about college baseball recruiting on my podcast, the morning brushback with Bobby Stevens, my co-host and People are saying, hey, with baseball not here right now, what should I do to help my son with recruiting? And the answer is take good video, email that video to college coaches, and fill out student athlete questionnaires. That's it. Hey, coach, this is who I am. Um, here's a video of me doing it. Are you interested in me? I'm interested in you. Here's all my info. Hopefully, I hear from you. That's kind of the process. You know, if there's not showcases right now, and showcases will obviously come back at some point. But for now, that's a good way to get on the radar. And ultimately, they do need to see you play in person somehow. So emailing them tells them that you're interested in them and it gets that process jump started. So the number one thing you can do is email college coaches with video that you took. If you need, if you have uh, questions on how to edit that video and what should be included, I'm planning a video on that. I'm not sure when I'll have it done, um, but we can definitely help you with that and uh, send it out to college coaches. So of all the college baseball recruiting tips out there, as we wrap up this video here, take good video, send it out, showcase yourself and put all this in your own words. And as players, you should be handling the college recruiting process. Mommy and daddy should not be doing it. Mom and dad don't email schools on your kid's behalf. Just don't do it. It tells the college coach if they figure it out that you are more responsible than they are. And they're not going to be responsible for their own actions because they want men, not little boys in, on college baseball teams. They need to be out of the nest doing it themselves. So if they want to go to college, if they say they really want to play college baseball, then they should be prepared to put in the work. And this is one of those pieces of it. If a kid can't sit down and email college baseball uh, programs to say, hey, I, I want to come play there, then he shouldn't be in college baseball. If you don't love it enough to sit down and do the work, it's not going to happen for you. So I hope today's video helped. If you need someone to mentor you and help you through the college baseball recruiting process, I'm someone that can do that for you. So Feel free to email me through my website at danblewitt.com. Feel free to shoot me a message, whether it's through Twitter or wherever, um, and we can talk about doing that. So one of my big things, I like helping players get to the next level, figure out who they are. So if you need someone to be honest with you, whether you're a parent or a player, and say, hey, where do I fit in? Should I be emailing D1 schools, D2, D3? What do I need to do to get better? What do I need to be at that level? I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to hurt your feelings, but I'm going to be very honest with you and give you a very accurate opinion of where I think you fit, what I think you need to get better at, and what we can do to help you get to the next level. So if you're interested in that and some of my mentorship, uh, contact me. There are links to contact me below in the description here. All right, so I hope this video on college baseball recruiting helped. Leave a comment below. Where are you at, the, at in the process? What do you need help with? How is this gone? What's your dream school? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.